What pops into your mind when you think about Lexington, Massachusetts? For many, it's the history. And for people looking for homes in Lexington, that's the most amazing thing. You have historical styles of every genre, from the 1700s to 2020. And for history lovers, the Victorian period and the Queen Anne Victorian period is one of the most adored styles. Victorians in Lexington were built between 1880, a little history lesson, 1880 and 1910, and they were centered mostly around Mass Avenue and Miriam Hill, Monroe Hill, and right here in East Lexington. The reason why is at the time, the well-to-do bankers, lawyers, doctors would take the train into Boston for work in the late 1800s. And the train, the railway line is right along Mass Ave. It happens to be very close to this home. So we're gonna take a look at that in a minute. Welcome to 29 Maple Street in Lexington. This is a gorgeous Queen Anne Victorian, 2,900 square feet. You have three, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, one and a third acres. And as I mentioned, you're very close to, um, to Mass Avenue and the bike path. I'm gonna show you a little bit about that in the meantime. I would like to introduce you to my co-listing agent, Mimi Crampton would like to say hello. We're gonna take you on the tour today and we really appreciate you being here. We want to encourage you to share this post, like it, um, hit the heart button if you like what you see. And just for fun, if you can write in the comments anything you wanna ask and maybe where you're watching from, that's always fun to see. Maybe you're in Los Angeles, maybe in Lexington, Boston, maybe in Canada, would love to find out. This seems like a great time for me to turn the camera around and start the tour. I can't wait to take you inside, but there's a lot to see outside. I do want to point out some of the Victorian features, both inside and outside, but first show you a little more about this great location. I'm gonna step right down the grand front porch and just take you out to Maple Street. I've been talking about the, uh, the railway line, the old railway line, and that's currently the Minuteman Bikeway. That's a 10 mile long bikeway. It's literally three houses down. I wanna see, you can pretty much see it, but it's, there's such lush greenery around the entry that you can't quite see that. Also, just three doors past the bike path entrance is Mass Avenue. That's where you have the MBTA line. You can pick up the bus, take it into Cambridge to Alwife to the end of the red line. And we're just about a mile east is Wilson Farms, which many of you might be familiar with. And then uh, Lexington Center is one mile west of here. Now in this direction on Maple Street, I just wanna show you, you do have a sidewalk takes you straight up Maple Street to the beautiful Harrington Elementary School. Really, really popular school. They have a wonderful um, preschool program there when schools are open back up and you have a crossing guard there. So very, very safe for the children. Now you're seeing the home for the very first time from the front. And I wanna take this opportunity to just point out a couple of the Victorian features. The deep front porch is something that the Queen Anne style will often have. I'm gonna pan up and show you there. Can you see the, there's a widow's walk all the way at the top. Also a beautiful wraparound second store balcony. Very, very common for the Queen Anne Victorian. Homes that have a turret. This one doesn't have a turret. This is more streamlined. It's late Queen Anne. It's actually 1904. And again, that period wrapped up around 1910, right before the shingle style Victorian um, took over. And you do see turrets on a lot of the homes. I love this classic look. Now the sun is so bright today. Do you notice anything about the roof? Looks like a slate roof. It's actually better than that. It's a rubber roof, it's faux slate, and that's gonna last a long, long time. The owners have done so many nice things. You've got this gorgeous, meandering bluestone walkway. Love the old Boston brick edging. And 
I also love the one and a third acres that this property has. When we get to the back of the home, I'm gonna take you out the back. We're gonna go on to the porch and the deck and take a look at that because it is amazing the way you have a country setting here in such an incredible location. Also, now that we're inside and it's a little more quiet, um, this is very typical of the Victorian. You've got lots of beautiful, beautiful high-end woodwork and paneling. You've got the walnut front door. You see some leaded glass and you have a grand front stairway. You always have a grand front stairway. So I'm gonna flip around here. This is currently used as a parlor or maybe a formal living room. I've had the good fortune to work not only with the current owners of this home, but the last two owners who own the property. And I've seen this used as a dining room and that works really well. Um, this is the, actually the old family room hangout. You do have a fireplace here, a media center. There, as we go through, I'm gonna talk to you about two significant renovations that have happened with the home, inside and out. And it was around 2007 that this beautiful built-in was put in so the family could be really cozy here and watch TV, listen to music. The flow is very, is very good, and it's also very typical of the Queen Anne Victorian period. Oh, there is an attic. The attic, um, hey, Chandra, the attic is actually finished into a brand new uh, master suite. So, however, if for storage, you have a full basement, and we're going to get down to that later. Now, I'm just circling around. This is wraparound from the grand foyer. You've got some gorgeous period built-ins. And then this, the current owners are using this as a dining room, and this happens to be one of my favorite rooms. It's got beautiful window bay, a little bit of stained glass at the top, very quintessential Queen Anne Victorian. You also have really, really high ceilings in this room. Mimi, do we know the ceiling height? Is it 11 feet in the dining room? Hey, Barb. I'm so glad you're watching. And I love the colors, too. We actually have a list of all the colors that the owners used for the house. All Benjamin Moore historical collection. Yeah, and yeah. Collection. Thank you. Mimi reminded me that all of the colors in the house are from the Benjamin Moore historic collection. Okay, I missed over. Now, the light goes on automatically in this beautiful bathroom. And let me back up so you can take a better look. So in 2007, that was when the very first significant renovation was done. The family then hired Payne Bouchier to redo all of the bathrooms, three and a half bathrooms. You've got a lot of marble floors, Callista uh, polished nickel feet, um, fixtures. If you're familiar with Payne Bouchier, they're very high end, custom cabinetry, custom contracting. And then it was in 2010, a little bit later, that the family did this incredible new kitchen. I wanna spend a little bit of time in here. I wanna pan this space, because this is um, really nice. They did an expansion in the back with this uh, cozy breakfast nook that actually faces east. And then we'll go out that door straight to the screened porch. I wanna show you the deck. And then you have the new family room. So this is, so many different hangout spaces, no matter what the size of your family. Okay, let's take another look at this kitchen. I just wanna hang out here. Actually, let me show you what it looks like. If in the morning, you're having your breakfast, this, you know, you're seeing everybody. If this looks like a professional chef's kitchen, that's because I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret. The current owner is a professional chef. You have all stainless appliances, Custom cherry cabinetry, beautiful skylights at the top, making this a beautiful room to spend time in, whether you're doing homework or puzzles or cooking or art projects. Um, huge island, fit four people easily. You do have the, um, the cooktop here, under cabinet lighting. I love this olive backsplash that they have. Just such a peaceful, serene space. Oh, and then at the time when they did this addition in the back, they actually added, redid this into a nice mudroom back here. So you have your own separate mudroom entry. 
Oh, I like that bag right there. And the dog walking chain that reminds me when you are abutting the Great Meadows here, that's huge. You've got 114 acres of conservation and hiking trails right behind you. That's another secret. Please don't tell anybody because people do go take their dogs back there, put them, take them off leash, and it's just so nice to keep it a little bit quiet. I actually cross country ski there in the winter, and um, it's really, really nice all year round. I think this is a great time for me to head out back. I just want to show you. Beautiful, completely coordinating two-car garage, plus a third parking bay to the side. That's really important. And this is an acre and a third. Now the lawn is gorgeous. It's actually been all hydro seeded. That's what you're looking at. So it's still coming in. This is so rare for Lexington. And keep in mind, we're just 10 miles from Boston. Another really, really neat thing, right behind this garage, the current owners built a chicken coop. It's a really nice chicken coop. Can you imagine fresh eggs every day, making them right in this kitchen? So this is the kind of space where you really want to hang out all summer. Uh, the, all the, oh, Chandra, all of the appliances stay. Juliana, yes, thank you. The stove, the cooktop is induction, which is no surprise to me. Um, this is a screened porch. You need that in New England, let's face it. And beautiful spaces everywhere for the entire family to hang out. Okay, back into the kitchen. Mimi, should we head up to the second floor? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, straight ahead is the door to the basement. I think we're going to skip that, but I do want to mention, in addition to the 3,200 square feet of finished space, there is a really nice playroom down there with brand new wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, fresh paint. This entire home has been freshly painted inside and... I just showed you the gorgeous lawn. I did want to mention there is an irrigation system. So maintenance of the property with the new rubber roof and irrigation. Um, so much more is just really low maintenance. Okay, very typical of the Queen Anne Victorian. You have a second floor landing. Such a charming bay. Can, I don't know if you can make out any of that rippled glass, but I just love that. All of the radiators do have custom covers, so there you get that nice moist heat and you have the custom covers for storing things. Mimi, is it three zones of heating? Or four zones of heat and three cooling? Yes. And you do have Nest programmable thermostats. Oh, the flooring, the flooring, the vintage wood. So you've got this bird's eye maple here. Downstairs, we saw a lot of quarter sawn oak. This is a beautiful um, fur. That's one of my favorites. I love the pattern of a fur, fur floor. Now this, okay, remember 2007, they did all of the bathrooms over. This was also done by Payne Bouchier, this beautiful wall of mirrored built-ins. And this was the master bedroom at the time. You have this lovely window bay. They had a nice queen bed here, but now it's a guest suite. Maybe a teen suite. Okay, marble flooring, a shower. I was mentioning the Callista features. Oh, the lighting goes on automatically in there too. Yeah. Now the next bathroom is the family bath. So the first bedroom and then the next bedroom I'm gonna show you do share this beautiful bath. I love the bathtub. It's one of my favorite parts of this house. Yeah, this is almost solid marble and what a classic look. What wall color did the owners use here? Do you remember the name of it? It's one of my favorite blues. I just wanted to share that with everybody. But you're seeing the signature Payne Boucher style here with all of the custom cabinetry. You notice the rounded woodwork. You really don't see a lot of that today. The rooms are all really good size. This is the smallest of the rooms, but it's a back bedroom. It's got a view of the entire backyard here. Okay. Another view back there. Now, I mentioned that um, when Chandra was asking about attic, so the attic here in 2007 was finished and this brand new bathroom was put in 
And the owners in, in 2010, when they did their significant renovation, they actually made this the master. So this is such a great space. You've got some fun beams, another skylight, huge amount of space. Ooh, the walk-in closet here is wonderful. Okay, all built-ins here. And then, okay, another look at this space. And then I wanna show you the bathroom too. Also marble flooring done by Payne Bouchier. You have a stand-up shower and, ooh, the Victorian clawfoot tub. Yes. Such an appropriate touch here in this home. And then the freestanding um, sink. Now, does anybody have any questions? Yes, the, the Payne Bouchier work is so, so timeless. Um, Mimi, has there been any questions that I can answer? Is there radiant heat flooring? Oh, yes, thank you for asking that. I, one thing I didn't mention, I did mention the Nest thermostats, and it is oil heat induction electric cooking, but there's gas to the house. It's not just on the street, it's to the house. The owners chose not to put it in, but you are completely welcome to connect to natural gas. And all of the bathrooms do have radiant heat flooring, which is so nice. All of the ceramic and the marble have that radiant heat. So that will keep you nice and warm all year round. What else did I leave out during the tour. We're back to the kitchen. Yes. Definitely the space where you're gonna want to hang out. This is one of those gems that just has it all. You've got incredible, um, okay. You have incredible, um, a renovated, gorgeous historic property. And you're just 10 miles from Boston. You actually are um, in Lexington, but you feel like you're in the country, complete with a chicken coop. We would love to get you more information. We're not doing public open houses, but we are doing private showings. Please call your realtor or give us a call. You can reach us at findbostonliving.com. 29maple.com has a lot of extra information, including the floor plans, which are very important. Oh, we have a beautiful color glossy brochure with all of the details and would love to share that with you. So we could email that. Um, we could meet you here and give it to you. We could pop it in the mail, anything you'd like. Mimi and I are here. You can also pick up the phone, 781-389-4400. Um, oh, please like Find Boston Living or and follow if you don't already. And we're excited to share this really, truly magnificent gem with you. So look forward to hearing, share this post, uh, let your friends know. I'm sure they're gonna wanna see this tour and would be happy to meet you anytime. Thank you.